Spring, let's party! It all starts with a trip to Lindley's Nursery and Garden Center, located in the Garden District on Canal Street. 8.34 on a Thursday morning, right here from the only radio station you're ever going to need. Every Thursday at this time, we talk about seniors and their lifestyle. Yep, and we do that right here from AM 1230 and AM 1490. Tom Monlock's our hostess with the mostest on this program, and he's with Oasis Senior Advisors. I'm having one of those mornings, I guess, all of a sudden, Tom. Good morning. Good morning, Skip. Good to be here this morning. Yeah, I love having you here. Talk to us about uh, Oasis Senior Advisors quickly. Yeah, well, we, we're out there in the community helping uh, older people and their families, you know, to find that next step. If they just can't seem to be able to live at home anymore and they're looking for options, we help them find those options all the way through Volusia, Flagler, and St. John's Counties. Mm-hmm. Love doing it. I love when and seniors have options and good options, and you can bring them to them. Exactly. Hey, you got a great show today, right? We do, yep. Uh, and first up this morning, uh, we're going to be talking with uh, Anthony Ford. He's back with us. Um, he's from Plan Life Care, and uh, there's lots to know about Plan Life Care. Um, we learned last time about how Anthony, um, all, the, all the different things that you do so welcome this morning. Well, good morning. Well, thanks for having me back, Tom. Well, you're certainly welcome. Um, and what what we learned last time was that, you know, you're able to really bring services to people wherever they are. You know, we talk about it, as it being home care, but gosh, there's so many different ways that you can bring services. People might be in the hospital, maybe, or maybe they're in an assisted living. But at, when they're at home, you know, sometimes we love our home, but our home doesn't always love us back. You know, there there <laughs> yeah. are issues that have to be done to make a home safe. So talk a little bit about how you do that with Plan Life Care. Well, it's the combination. If you're going to stay in the home, the home had better be the best, best place for you. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I came across this case, if I may just uh, quickly talk. Sure. Um, it's uh, basically, it was someone coming out of rehab. Mm. Uh, the house needed some fixing. It needed some safety features. It needed some cleaning out. But then I can plan that together with the in-home services mm. so that both services complement each other. They happen at the right time and they bring the uh, person safe back home from rehab. Yeah, and that's such a critical factor. Um, and timing is so important because, you know, w- when a discharge is going to take place, many times, you know, you're you're almost getting last minute notice. You're trying to track it, but, but, you, but you've got to be there, right? I mean, the timing is a critical thing for a safe discharge. You, you've got to be flexible. There's no doubt about it because rehabs like to spring surprises sometimes. It's like, okay, he's ready to go out. And um, you've got to have the, the house ready and you've got to have the home in-home care ready as well. And uh, at least bringing those two services under one company really helps with the flexibility, the planning of that and getting it done at the right time. So for our listeners, and they're, maybe they're now sitting in their home, they've got a cup of coffee, they're looking around and saying, gee, Anthony's talking about whether my home is safe or not. What are the kinds of things that you think people might be uh, or should be concerned about when they are considering safety in their home? Well, first of all, the, the uh, biggest misconception is you have to spend a lot of money to mm. make these safety improvements. Mm. Some of it can be as simple as clearing the walkways. So planning the route that the person who maybe has is mobility compromised, mm-hmm. planning the routes they're going to take around the house and just make getting rid of the clutter. It can be as simple as that. Mm-hmm. Then you move on to other things like grab bars, ramps as appropriate. And mm-hmm. then there's a whole ream of other adaptations you can do to make the home the best place. Yeah. Well, and, and I, I know it's, uh, it's true that, you know, um, for, for many people, you don't even maybe even realize, you know, what what uh what's going on in your home until it's brought to your attention and can you go in and help people to just take a peek at their home and talk about the home home safety oh sure yeah i'll 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 come along and i'll talk to anyone no obligation no charge i'll come in do a basic safety inspection i'll make suggestions if you want to uh, include my services to make those changes that's that's all well and good but i'll come along and do an assessment for anyone well, and this is what's important about really being a resource in in the community as you are, and and um, we're gonna we're gonna take a break, and when we come back, we're gonna learn more, uh, Anthony, about how Plan Life Care is differentiated, how people can know uh, the the value in the services that you provide. So we'll be right back.
If you gotta get up, I gotta get up, I gotta get up. Do it with us. And go, go, go! Mornings on the stations of WSBB. Good morning, WSBB. From your WSBB 2020 Volusia County Newsroom, I'm Amy Ryan. The Daytona Beach Regional Chamber of Commerce is providing another opportunity for exposure, networking, and more. Nancy Kiefer, the Chamber's President and CEO, has more. So if uh, people like to get out and uh, network it with some great professionals, we have our business after hours on Tuesday, April 17th. That'll be at the beautiful Marina Grand on the Halifax. If you haven't been there, you've got to go check it out. Beautiful condos, beautiful facility. And again, it's a great opportunity to build your circle of influence and meet with uh, like-minded people that are doing great things in our community. Embattled Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg was back on Capitol Hill yesterday for a big hearing in the U.S. House. He read an opening statement similar to the one he read to begin several hours of testimony in a Senate hearing on Monday. Florida U.S. Senator Democrat Bill Nelson tangled with Zuckerberg on the issue of privacy and data use. We think offering an ad-supported service is the most aligned with our mission of trying to help connect everyone in the world. Because we want to offer a free service that everyone can afford. Okay. That's the only way that we can reach billions well, of people. So, therefore, you consider my personally identifiable data the company's data, not my data. Is that it? No, Senator. This Volusia County 2020 News Update is brought to you by Volusia Eye Associates, providing medical and surgical eye care. Advanced surgical care, local convenience. Hi, I'm Dr. Hank Routh. Our clinic has provided care at our location to the people of Southeast Volusia for over 30 years. I have brought the latest surgical techniques to the practice, including dropless cataract surgery and the eye stent device that cures glaucoma and cataracts with a single surgery. If you would like more information about these procedures, please call Volusia Eye Associates at 386-427-4143. Need a mortgage? No points, no PMI, no tax escrow, no broker's fees. Get all the details at TrustCoBank.com. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Your hometown bank. NMLS 474376. Wow. Just drive around New Smyrna Beach and you will see a pharmacy on just about every corner. What sets Little Drug Company apart from the rest? Since 1922, we are the oldest independent pharmacy in Volusia County. We are a part of the Health Mart Network, a strong and respected brand of independent pharmacies across the nation. David, our pharmacist, is happy to address any questions you may have. We offer local free prescription delivery durable medical equipment, wound care, and award-winning personal customer service. And don't forget our old-fashioned soda fountain. We are Little Drug Company, your locally owned Health Mart pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Woodland Towers has been a mainstay in DeLand for over 30 years, and that doesn't happen by accident. Woodland Towers is a retirement community dedicated to providing its residents with a quality, carefree, and independent retirement lifestyle. The spacious apartments offer a home-like atmosphere with supportive services as needed. There are always things to do, either social or educational. Stop in for a tour. Woodland Towers, 113 Chipola Avenue, DeLand, where life begins again. Need a mortgage? No points, no PMI, no tax escrow, no broker's fees. Get all the details at TrustCoBank.com. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Your hometown bank, TrustCo. NMLS 474376. Well, welcome back uh, to Focus on Senior Lifestyles. This is Tom Monlock. I'm your host. And uh, we're talking with Anthony Ford from Plan Life Care. And Anthony's been telling us about uh, the services that, that uh, he and his company provide. And one of the things, Anthony, that we know is that there are lots of options out there. Many, many different companies who try to help people in their homes. And I know one of the things that you really focus on are kind of these guiding values that help you in how you help older people. So could you talk a little bit about those values? Well, I take a very simple approach to this. Mm -hmm. um, I got into this business when I became guardian of my own mother, and I wanted to set up home care for her. Mm -hmm. And it becomes very simple to know what the right thing to do is when you look at everyone through that lens. You know what you went through with your mother. You know how you'd react to that. And that's how you uh, deal with any situation 
with with your clients. It makes doing the right thing very easy. Yes, yeah. Well, and I think as I know about your your history, you've actually helped your mother. I mean, that's 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 oh, yeah. in, in your in your uh, life experience. Yep, she yeah. she's still going strong under home care and uh, outlived uh, all the prognosis I had. So yeah. No, very, very good. So it's that it's that personal approach um, and looking at each person uh, individually uh, and then responding to them, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. But having those core principles which guide how you approach each mm. individual situation. But there are principles that override, you know, guide what you sh- how you should be approaching everything. Yeah. And 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 I know in addition to that, you have. You have uh, principles with your uh, with your employees as well, and how you approach them. Um, and could you just comment briefly about about how you um, how you approach your your staff, your your team? It's uh, again very simple basis. I treat mm-hmm. them with respect. I I pay them above average. I incentivize in very specific ways mm-hmm. in order to encourage the uh, best possible experience, so mm-hmm. that they feel confident and happy and cared for, so they can provide the good level of care. Well, I um, we're gonna we're gonna just uh, do a little shift here, Anthony, um, and uh, <clears throat> we also have in our in our uh, James Wood, and it's baseball time, and we're. Gonna- We're going to talk a little baseball here um, and have an opportunity to learn a little bit more about our Tortugas and um, and the way that they're uh, they're going about their their new season. Um, And um, so, James, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us today. Yeah, good good to have you here. And uh, what an exciting time! Always, you know, that opening day, that opening part of the of the season and there's lots of optimism and excitement and um and good news is this this team has gotten off to a great start yeah they have uh we're on a six game winning streak uh we we had a double header yesterday we won 11 to 8 and then two to nothing last night um which was also one of our silver slugger nights uh last night so yeah um, yeah start out the game so say more about silver slugger so our silver sluggers are a uh, 60 and older uh crowd where we offer a uh, membership package, 30 bucks for uh, 11 games worth since we have one, so there's 10 games remaining. It breaks down to about three bucks a game that they get to come out and enjoy baseball um, throughout the entire summer. So. Oh, terrific. Wow. And, uh, and how, how has the participation been in that program? Uh, we've, we've increased our numbers uh, mm-hmm. over, the, over the last few years. Uh, you know, the uh, senior population, and we know that they're kind of more on a fixed budget kind of deal, so the the 30 bucks for the membership really works out great for them. Uh, they get enjoy a great pastime history uh, as far as um, being able to enjoy baseball, get to see some players that are growing up uh, through the system, learning as they go to make way on their major league, on their way to the major leagues. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and, and you talk about how, um, how affordable this is, and, and that really is an important part for all of us, but particularly for people who are on fixed incomes. Right. And, uh, you know, along with the affordability, uh, we also tune into, uh, their, their, their health or the healthy being kind of deal. So we, uh, you know, one of the examples I was talking to you this morning about was the, uh, the stroll around the ballpark. So we walk around the warning track to kind of get some steps in and some movement, mm-hmm. uh, you know, prior to the game starting. So, you know, just count those last little f- few steps before, uh, getting the game underway. So. Yeah. And, and is it true that that's a timed event that you have to have to finish it in a certain time? Yes, uh, it is. <laughs> as quickly <laughs> as possible. <No. laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> now, everybody's out there doing it. It's, his, it's doing called a, a stroll for a reason. A stroll for a reason, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, so so this is really a unique experience. How many of the how many of those games do you have during the season? Uh, so we have uh, 10, 10 more Silver Slugger games remaining, so there's still good value on that, on the dollar okay. uh, for them. And, you know, practically after they reach four games or attend four games, uh, they get their money's worth, uh, as, like the, as I'd like to say. So, But then there's also added value in the fact that we give them a, you know, a free drink coupon for a small soda or a coffee. Uh, they get a free T-shirt, uh, free parking on those nights. So it's a great value. It, so it, it actually honestly pays for itself within the first two games. Excellent. Well, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to learn a little bit more about the experience of, of getting into the stadium and and the schedule of, of games and times and those kinds of things and how people can, can reach you. So we'll be right back. Dave. 
Daytona Beach is turning on to financial advice from Dave Ramsey. Andrew is with us in Daytona Beach, Florida. Hi, Andrew. How are you? Hey, Dave. Doing great. And yourself? Better than I deserve. It's your dough, and you should know what to do with it. Join Dave Ramsey weekday afternoons 4 to 6 for financial advice that makes sense only on the stations of WSBP. Preparing for the future is more than planning for retirement. It's making tomorrow's choices today, which give you peace of mind tomorrow. Arranging your affairs to make sure that your wishes are legally binding is one of the most important steps in planning for your future. It's also about taking the burden off of loved ones and relieving them of the stress of legal issues. At Aiken Law, our attorneys look at the big picture and your family dynamics. For your free consultation, call Aiken Law, 386-738-5599. There's no time like the present. Everybody has done their best, but it's time to make a move for your mom or dad for a variety of reasons. Tom Monlock with Oasis Senior Advisors is here to tell us what's next. What we like to do is to meet with the family to talk about the needs of mom or dad. And then we work to find the perfect place so that they're comfortable and it's the right place for them. It's a hard decision. When you find yourself in that position, trust Oasis Senior Advisors to find the right place for your loved one. Call 386-275-2503. You don't have to be Dr. Doolittle to talk to the animals. The Halifax Humane Society is always looking for volunteers of all ages to help care for the critters. The fur buddies love to be walked and talked to. Every year, the Halifax Humane Society services over 25,000 animals. If you would like to donate your time to make friends with or foster a fur buddy until they find their forever home, call the Halifax Humane Society today at 386-274-4703 or visit Halifax Humane Society org to sign up to be a volunteer there's not enough common sense in senior care confusing choices what's the answer i started plan life care to provide in-home care for my mother care with licensed bonded insured and thoroughly vetted caregivers care that shines with the quality we can prove explore all the care options from in-home care to maintain independence to assisted living plan life care for your loved ones Care with common sense. Contact Plan Life Care today, toll free, 844-861-4747 or review your options on planlifecare.com. Tucked into the corner of Granada Boulevard and Halifax Drive sits the Ormond Beach Memorial Art Museum and Gardens. This historic garden on two and a half acres transports you to a lush tropical oasis. Paths lead to the art museum with continually changing exhibits of all styles and types of artwork. This creative community offers a variety of classes and educational programs for every age and interest. Ormond Beach Memorial Art Museum and Gardens. Stroll. Discover. Create. Remember. For more information on upcoming events and exhibits, log on to ormondartmuseum.org. Well, welcome back to Focus on Senior Lifestyles. This is Tom Monlock, and I'm talking with James Woods with the Daytona Tortugas. And James, talk a little bit about uh, something new that's coming up with the Tortugas. Yeah, Tom, uh, we've got uh, what we're about to introduce and launch is our uh, ballpark pass. It's a twenty four ninety nine per month uh, membership uh, where you can attend as many games as yourself for yourself as you would like to uh, during the month, each month of May, June, July, August, and September. Yeah, wonderful. So really good for those snowbirders uh, and folks who who are down for a, for a limited period of time. Yeah, and it's not right. just open to them. It's open up to everyone, uh, you know, from that aspect. But we're about to launch that after this homestand. Uh, so a little bit tidbit. Early bird news kind of nice, deal. Nice. Uh, you, you heard it here on WSBB. You know? <laughs> yeah, so uh, it'd be twenty four ninety nine per month. They'll be able to attend. You'll get a message on your phone, uh, and they'll send you an electronic ticket. Uh, be able to use it on your phone when you go to the, to the gates to scan in. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can attend as many games as you want for that one price. 
Mm-hmm. So with typically 15 games per month at twenty four ninety nine a pop. So That's terrific. You know, um, one of the great experiences for grandparents is being with their grandchildren. And uh, what a nice outing to be able to go out and see a game. It is. Yeah. What, what kind of experiences do you have for uh, or can a grandparent expect when they're bringing their young person to a, to a game? Um, so we've got our kids' zone area with inflatables and a uh, accuracy pitch, uh, and, and then you got you got your typical playground, um, mm. uh, jungle gym set kind of deal. Uh, also with the heat coming up, where we've got a misting station courtesy of Air One uh, that we're we're going to set up starting uh, tonight. Actually, uh, you know, with you know, pinning the weather with as cold as it's <laughs> been, you know, I don't know if we'll add the water, but we'll at least put it up. Yeah. Uh, so you'll know where the misting station is. Uh, and on Sundays, we've got our tiny tugas. It's free for kids that are 12 and under. So if the grandparents want to bring them out on Sundays and not have to worry about paying the, paying a ticket price for the for their grandbaby. They can feel free to do that. Just sign them up as a Tiny Tuga member. What a great, just a, a family opportunity, family experience. And um, I was asking you also, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about the volunteer opportunities, because I know our, our listeners like to volunteer. Correct. Uh, we've got our, our Tuga Care Foundation, which is looking for volunteers on a regular basis uh, to help sell the 50-50 tickets to our fans. Uh, I know if additional staffing, we may need some in it, some help in the concessions areas. Uh, so helping, uh, you know, get the popcorn, peanuts, hot dogs, hamburgers out to our fans. So uh, there's a couple of different variety of opportunities there. James, tell our listeners how they can reach the Daytona Tortugas. Uh, you can uh, email us at info at DaytonaTortugas.com. You can call the office 386-257-3172 or visit our website, DaytonaTortugas.com. So great to have you here. Um, and we're going we're gonna to pick up our conversation with Anthony Ford now. Um, Anthony's still with us in the studio. And uh, Anthony, um, you know, y- you've got a home run program going too. So we're not going to leave you out of this uh, <laughs> baseball analogy. Uh, so I-, I know that, you know, you're out there in the community and you're, you're making a lot of connections. Uh, tell us a little bit about, the, about what you're going on and, and who you're interacting with out in the community might, that might be helpful to our listeners. Well, one of the great things about this area is the number of resources, the number of great, great people who are out there assisting seniors in all different aspects of their life. I just want to give a quick shout out, if I may, to uh, Julian Cantillo. He's uh, from OurSeniors.net. They also have a magazine type publication. He's doing wonderful work interviewing inspirational seniors, and he's just an all around lovely person. So Mm -hmm. I want to give a quick shout out to my, my good friend there. Oh, good. That's great. You know, um, and one of the things that, that I know I'm impressed with um, in the services that you provide, and you've really been thinking about these transitions, you know, people, um, you know, life changes, and sometimes maybe a person's at home, and they've got to be thinking about moving to an assisted living. There are important ways that you can help them in that transition, right? Well, yeah, I mean, any of these transitions from home to assisted living or back from rehab into the home environment is a very stressful time. I see that day in, day out. And I have specific programs in place to assist uh, the right levels of care, carefully fall out procedures, protocols to assist in those processes. Yeah. And and I, I know um, we've talked some about how you price those and you're, you're trying to make that into almost like a package so that people can know what to expect when they engage in your services. Well, traditionally in-home care is priced by the hour, but I thought I, I wanted to put together specific packages. So because mm-hmm. the first question you say, the price per hour, well, how many hours do I need? Well, just put it together into a package that's carefully thought out for what most people would require. Anthony, tell our listeners how they can reach you at Plan Life Care. Well, uh, I have toll free number that's 844 861 4747, or check out your options at planlifecare.com. Great to have, uh, have you here. Great to have James Wood here also this morning from the Daytona Tortugas. And uh, so this is Tom Monlock. I'm uh, here with uh, Focus on Senior Lifestyles. Great to be with you this morning. And uh, please uh, make it a great day out there. Great show, Tom. Thank you very much. The great voice of Volusia County. Yeah, that's us. AM 1230, AM 1490. And of course, don't forget on FM at uh, 106.9. And that's going to do it for our showgram for a Thursday morning. Yeah, we invite you now to stay tuned for the latest news, news you need to know from around the world, from the CBS Radio Network. 
Following that, let me see, Heather's there. Yep, she's still in the Weather Center. And then, of course, the best music, bar none of any radio station. We'll see you tomorrow morning on a TGIF Friday morning right here on the radio.